Hello everybody, this is Howie Jones, and uh, this is my seedling tray. They've only known natural light, not any artificial light yet. These are cabbages, several types of lettuce, and some spinach. Over here, got some elephant garlic. Just ready to bloom. It's big. These are oka, marusha, and uh, different potatoes. Uh, I'm gonna plant these. A couple of sweet potatoes. I'll make slips with them. There's some definitely some de new looking potatoes, even orange looking ones. I'm constantly uh, getting seed, seed potato, constantly. Yeah. Yep, so that's uh, what we're doing today. I've prepped this soil here, and it's uh, along the property here. Yep. I've prepped this soil. This was a pathway soil bank that I made last year. And I put in, here it is here. This is my garlic section here. Here will be all the tubers and bulbs and onion sets and stuff will be in this bit. And the rest is like a wild food forest setting. I just keep this piece in here for my veggies. So this is uh, plant potatoes. And just have to see if this is... Oh! <laughs> Now you all took a tumble then. Still recording. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. That's much better. <laughs> so this is, uh, let's see, this is still recording. Yeah, this here is my hoe. It's a, it has a, a prong that's twisted off from each other so when you when you pull it in the pathway soil bank this here makes it like a tillage uh, it's from Japan a friend of mine gave it to me another friend of theirs passed away I have a couple more similar but this is the best one so uh, yeah so I'll put in the oka first and the oka will go along here this is really easy to use. This might be a long video. There they are here, Oka. And I just go along and 
put them down like that in my little trench. Yeah. So, oh, brutal. When you have osteoarthritis, that's brutal. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And there we go. And that's the transparent one. So that was the oka that's planted. And the next one we'll plant. We'll plant uh, all different kind of potatoes. So the oka is a very small. <laughs> it looks like four leaf clovers. So that goes there first. The taller potatoes in the back, and then the the other tubers that grow on the vine that look like nasturtiums, they'll grow way over, so as not to uh, to to be around each other. So. You, I just, I'm about a foot and a half away from that last planting. And if your row is not, you know, the best row in the world, it's okay. No one's going to remember you after you're long gone whether you had a crooked row or not. <laughs> I'm going to fill in this little patch here where it's missing garlic with my elephant garlic. So we'll give this a little tilling up too. And this is just a pathway soil bank. And uh, this is for a friend of mine, a morning gardener. That's why I'm doing this. He asked for this to be done. I wasn't going to do it. I thought everybody knew how to plant their potatoes. It wasn't something that I was uh, thinking of and thank thank you very much morning gardener for reminding me <laughs> sometimes it takes a friend that cares you know that uh, helps you get through things I would have planted my potatoes anyway but whether I would have videotaped it since uh, yesterday I've planted and moved several trees I never videotaped planted several 10 year old Blueberry bushes that I moved. Didn't I <laughs> didn't uh, videotape. So maybe I'll start videotaping more. Well, there we go. And uh, same thing. I just put them down there about a foot and a half apart. All different color ones. And I'll take the, the camera up before I bury them up. Yeah. yeah. That's about it there. We'll make another row. I grow a lot of different kinds of potatoes because a simple fact that uh, I like them fresh. If you have them fresh, then you will uh, you will tend to eat them without fungus. As they get older, they get a fungus on them and mold. That's the bad part of potatoes. So I'll make another row here. This is very easily done with a special hoe that's that's prong is off on an angle. They're not straight across. So you're, you're, you know, I'm just, I could just drop it in there without any effort.
just throwing in a sweet potato. So I can walk in between these rows and I'll mark them. And as you can see here, these are all different kinds. Blue, red, yellow, white, even orangey like ones. So about a about two feet apart, you know. About two feet apart. That's where you want to be with them. Well, we'll put in one more row of potatoes. That's why we're here. A lot of these have eyes already. So, as you can see, all different kind. And these are like leftover from last year, still soil, They're sprouting a little bit, but that's the way it is. So, next thing that I do is I go in between the row and I'll make another one right here, but I'll just put a little bit onto the, onto the, um, I better show the whole thing. I, uh, here it is here, you see, here's the, the, the trenches were dug, the spuds are put in, all different kinds. And I'll grow probably a hundred pounds of potatoes or more here. I'll grow more than I can eat. And uh, so what I'll do now is I'll go along in this row and this row and just till in between each one. And that, that'll put the soil on top. And then I'll empty another pathway soil bank on top of this as they just start sprouting to get lots, you know. And that'll be another part of a video. But this is a pathway soil bank that I built last year, and now I'm utilizing it. And I put in um, wood ash. I had wood ash for one year, and I put a, like a half a cup in a two gallon watering can, mixed it in, and I let that soak in over the year with, with some dolomite lime. And then that was soaked in over the winter, you know. And then I put in my bio digester, you see a blue can? Whenever I catch fish, I put seaweed and fish in there and comfrey leaves and weeds and whatever. 
and it decomposes in there and I just put that on here so it's a, it smells a little bit here but this is very nutrient dense soil food from within the soil anyway let's get on with this and finish what uh, what was being said here we go good I'm still there in action and you can see what I'm doing here and I'll bury up these oak uh, And I'll go foo. So what I'll do after I make the trench like this, so I've buried the oak on that side, I've buried the potatoes on this side. Now I have a tray of, of, uh, of um, seedlings and I'll, and I'll actually get a crop of lettuce and spinach off before the potatoes even become noticeable. So it's, uh, I use what available space I can. I get more than one use out of the land. Like I'm making a second row here. And this is where I'll put my rows of greens. Because I'll harvest the greens. I'll harvest the greens before before the potatoes come up it's going to position the camera a little bit to double check yeah it looks good so here's the last row here that I'll make Some old potatoes from last year. <laughs> oh, little potatoes from last year, <laughs> and whatever those are, orange looking potatoes. Oh. See, now 